When I got my PhD from the University of California, Berkeley, I had to memorize the names of all these god darn subatomic particles. Neutrinos and quarks and hadrons and pi mesons and kappa mesons and tau leptons, hundreds, thousands of particles that I had to memorize to get a PhD. I would hope that in the future, when you get your PhD from Berkeley, all you would have to do is say, string theory, and you would get your PhD. I'm the co-founder of string field theory, mm -hmm. one of the main branches of string theory. We believe that all the particles you see around us, all the particles that make up our body and the atom, are nothing but little vibrating rubber bands, vibrating at different frequencies. So physics is nothing but the laws of harmony of these vibrating rubber bands. Chemistry is nothing but the melodies, the melodies you can play on vibrating rubber bands. The universe is a symphony of these vibrating strings and the mind of God. The mind of God that Einstein spent 30 years of his life trying to decipher, we think, is cosmic music resonating through 11-dimensional hyperspace. That is nirvana. Our universe is a three-dimensional bubble expanding in a larger nirvana, a never-ending nirvana of 11-dimensional hyperspace. Spaces beyond human comprehension. What you do is you send a robot. A robot to land on a moon because the moon is stable, no erosion, no rust. The moon then builds a factory. It builds thousands of carbon copies of itself. And then the factory launches these to other moons. So starting with one robot, you have a million robots. Second generation, you have a million times a million. Third generation, a million times a million times a million. And then before you know it, you have a sphere of robots expanding at the speed of light, containing trillions upon trillions of robots, colonizing the entire Milky Way galaxy. 